Some key surveillance videos showing two Secret Service agents crashing into a White House barrier may be gone. The Secret Service says that its policy is to destroy surveillance tapes after 72 hours. Now, the agency's new director, Joseph Clancy, is on Capitol Hill. He's downplaying reports that the March 4th incident was really a crash because the vehicle involved was traveling at a low speed. But he's also facing questions about why some of the video of the incident may no longer exist. The tape that is on our cameras is taped over. Uh, and I know I've seen reports that the tapes have been erased. Uh, that is not the case. We don't have a system where someone can erase tapes, put their finger on a dial and erase them. But they are, by practice, uh, at 72 hours, taped over. And I know that's a concern, uh, rightfully so. So what I did, I, in I instructed my staff to reach out to the manufacturer and hopefully we can get the manufacturer in to try to recreate those tapes, as well as our top forensic cyber people to come in to work with the manufacturer. Um, and thirdly, we reached out to the Office of Inspector General to make sure that they were comfortable and they certainly can uh, be there on, uh, on site as well. But um, we understand it's a concern. We're doing everything we can to retrieve those uh, images uh, to be as transparent as we can be. The Department of Homeland Security is investigating the March 4th incidents. The agents involved have been transferred to non-supervisory positions.